Hi guys, it's just an update and I am coming back very, very slowly. I wasn't very well yesterday. I did do a video, another depressing one, but um, I deleted it because I didn't like it. And I don't like myself when I'm really down and you know what I mean. And basically, I've just been in pain with my ear at the moment. I've got some cotton wool behind me on my glasses because... Um, my glasses are digging into my ear and I've got a bit of earache going... Well, the ear's pain's there, but it's going towards my gum bit. So I think it's another infection I've got. Um, So I'm going to get myself to the doctor's next week. I was really down yesterday. I had to ring 111 for some advice. I was going, supposed to be ringing my doctors today because I was getting headaches here yesterday and the headaches would not stop. And it could be the pain with my ear infection, I don't know. But I've been putting um, a cold flannel on my ear and that's helping. And um, it's been gurgled with salt and water, um, took some painkillers and also using my ear drops. So hopefully that should kill the pain. Um, I'm going to be wearing that tomorrow night, tomorrow. It's a top I found in my wardrobe and it's... I've forgotten I had it actually. I knew I had it somewhere but I didn't know where. <laughs> As you do when you move. Um, I really thought I gave it away to someone but I'm glad I found it. And um, I'm going to be wearing that with my little three quarter shorts tomorrow. Or either that it be my leggings, one of the two. Ones that Andy likes me in. And we have an update. Oops, there's a nail on there. No, that's not the update. We have an update. Got Andy's ring. It's better than the old one, actually. And we got it behind um, Boys in Darlington. It's like um, a little... Um, it's like a second hand jewellery place and we got it from there so and it was good it's cheaper than the other one but it's nice as well and it fits his finger better so it's I'm proposing to him tomorrow once me proposing <laughs> work that one out it should be the other way around but I'll have to propose to him um, I honestly don't know about the wedding yet because we can't really afford it and I was saying to my support worker um, the only way, as, way I can do round, I mean what's a piece of paper for to be married I mean all you can do is get these like wedding bands and say a little first and then do your bit I mean which I can do here I can have my little wedding party here. Do you know what I mean, guys? I don't have to go the whole hog to do it, even though I would like to, but it's the money situation and you've got to think. And I could have the reception here, but now I am thinking about it because I want something positive going in my mind at the moment. I want something positive and good. So something I can look forward to because at the moment the way my friends have been treating me lately and it's not to anybody who has offended me in the past it's to people who have treated me and people know they've treated me really bad see guys and if the wedding did go ahead, I don't know who would ruin it. That's, that is the thing. That is the thing that's what I'm scared of. Because I was the same when I married our Dougie. And I was the same with John. I do get panic when I make that commitment. It's just... It's just like what women go through. You do panic. You do honestly panic on that. Um, 
but like I say, I mean, if I do come to the like to the wedding bit, I'll probably just have it here, have a wedding dress here, um, maybe go to the park somewhere to get some photographs taken. I don't know yet, um, because I would like to get married in Whitby, but um, it's going round about it that. I would like to get married at the golf weekend because it's where we proposed and it's something special with me and Andrew. And I'll have to have serious words with my dad at some point because I don't know what's going to happen with this appeal situation. If I lose my money, what's going to have chances of me with the wedding? Yes, guys, this is the thing. Them the two things on my mind. Guys, because even, um, even people have said that to me and you've got your wedding to organise, but how can I organise my wedding when I've got no money? It's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. I don't know how you can go around about getting money and I'm putting money away every fortnight in um credit union but um I need the money for Christmas and New Year so I need to do that um get a loan out for then and maybe a loan out for November time for when we go to um Whitby as well. Um so I've got a lot of things coming up lately at the moment because I have got um that course to go to when I start to join it when my support worker comes back and she'll be probably ringing me up on Monday I'll probably be getting another earache again and it's just it's all too much guys sometimes it's really too much when you're not well and you're down and depressed and after what you've been through for the last two days sorting out your personal life it's like Ah, <laughs> do you know what I mean, guys? Do you know what I mean? You just want to scream sometimes. And I have been cooling down on my videos. But the, my session videos will be up on Sunday. They're my session videos, not party videos. Okay. I don't party every weekend. I do chill out, you know, and I do have a break, and I do I haven't been on for video for the last two days. So get that into your little picture frame, okay? Told your health bells is coming back. Talk to the hand, cause the face ain't fucking listening. Hmm. Say it, girl. I'm coming back. And I am with adventures, because revenge is sweet. Karma will get the person, as people know. Am I right or am I wrong? I know I'm right. Yes, guys. And I feel better for myself because I'm coming back. And... It's going to be a quiet do tomorrow, me and Andrew, because we were hoping Stephen would come, but he's going out with Barbara for the day. But I'm happy about that. But we are going out for the day next week when I get paid. Hopefully after when I've paid all my bills, we've got some little bit of money left to go out. If not, we just... Well, I was going to go out next week. Oh, no, I can't because the 11th... Um, I'm doing a memory thing for Dougie because I've already been to the grave twice and so there's no point really me going again because I can just do a little in memory thing here. And I think Dougie would have liked that because we used to remember John. We used to have a little drinking session for him and we used to remember my brother. And cut a long story short, right? Whatever goes on in my life, as for call to do with anyone else. And I'm being serious. It's got for call to do with my outside world. 
like my courses, like my support worker, like everything else. It's got fuck all to do with anyone else, what I do. Videos are my hobbies. And guys have been begging me to come back to do my videos. Because I know they want to see me again. It's just some jealous person. It's just some jealous person who does not like me. And God knows fucking why. Because I'm the most friendliest person you can meet. Even my support worker said that. It's because of who I am. It's because the way I've been brought up and the way is me. And I can't change me. I can only get stronger in me, but I can't change me. I wish I could. I wish I could rip the two of me out, but I don't. But you can't. So there's only one of me, and one of me is staying on this ground, staying talking to you guys, because you guys love me. Only several people out there are fucking jealous of me. And they know who they are. Because I am coming back and I will be coming back. And they won't like it when I come back. Yes, I've had a hell of a week this week. But I've got support on my side. I've got the support workers. I have got the police on my side. So... And I've got even NHS on my side. What well, after I've been through. Because I have had to ring them up last night when I was well, unwell. Because I didn't know the nightline number for people who are depression. Because one of the questions they did ask me on 111, they said, Has your doctor give you advice for after hours for when you're depressed? And I said, No. No, they haven't. So really, they should give me that advice to um, help me in case I. Or with the pills. Do you know what I mean, guys? I think you do. And I think another thing what's per perked me up today was the coffee. <laughs> I haven't had a coffee all week. I know I hate to say that, but I haven't had a coffee all week and that's perked, perked me up. But, um... Yes, I'm looking forward to tomorrow because it's been a week I haven't drank. Um, also, no, actually, a week tomorrow I haven't drank. Um, also, I'm looking forward to doing my jobs next weekend. I have got an appointment on the 15th, which is at Amphitar, um, because they want to uh, talk to me, so I... They did do is um I did ask them, can you put um morning appointments for me because I don't like afternoon appointments because I like to chill out, take my medication and have a sleep in the afternoon because some tablets I take sometimes do make me feel feel sleepy, as people know, when I talk to you guys on the video, and cut a long story short, she was quite snotty on the phone, she said oh sorry we don't change appointments I said. Right, but I said I can't make it on the afternoon. I said, I told you this, I like morning appointments better. So I rang up my support worker and hopefully they're going to sort it out for me because really they should take your side. I'm not being funny, guys, but they should take your side. If you can't make that appointment because of your medication, because you're so used to taking your medication at a certain time, and when you don't take your medication at a certain time, it fucks your body up, which it does with me. I don't know about you guys, but it does with me. So I like to take it on a certain time and a certain part of the day where I have a sandwich, because I've got to have a sandwich before I eat, before I take my medication. Do you know what I mean, guys? I think you do. Yes, you do. So I've told you that I'm coming back and... I feel great at the moment because I feel in a happyish mood. Um, normally, at this time of night, I'm really down and depressed, but I've had <laughs> salt and water in my gum today, and um, 
to use them air drops there and I've had flannel on my face. It's still a bit swollen a bit, but it's not as bad. Um, I'm going to put a flannel on my face before I go to sleep tonight uh, just to cool it down. <laughs> the other day, my legs were hurting, for God knows, don't read some white, and my back's hurting a bit today, but that's just this time of year, it does tend to do that. Um, I always get these little illnesses this time of year. I don't know whether it's because the weather change or what, or whether it's just my body. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I didn't have this body, but we were born this way, as Lady Gaga said, we were born this way we were guys yes we were we were definitely born this way so you can't knock it till you try it that's the one right guys i am going to shoot it off so my final update for the weekend so speak to you guys soon which is tomorrow be cool be happy stay tuned Els Bells, Rock Chick, Dudes. One, two, one. You know what I mean, guys. I'm out of here. Bye.